Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and export configurations in Reaper. Now, one of the most powerful features in Reaper is that we can customize everything. We can change our menus, our toolbars, our actions, the keyboard shortcuts that go with it. Just about everything can be customized. But because of that, we need to export and import or save and load anything we change. So let's go through how to do that. Let's start off with the menus. Like I said, we can customize any menu we want. Let's check out the file menu. We can go over here to options and go down here to customize menus and toolbars. Then we can find the file menu in here. And right over here is the file menu. So again, we could change anything in this dialog very easily. Right over here on the closed project, let's add a few more actions. Go to add, add action, and let's search close project. And right over here are a few actions that are not in the menu. Let's choose close all projects but current, and close project tab. And now they're added down here. Let's move them. And if we save them over here and close it, if we go to the file menu, we can see those actions being added to the menu. Close all projects but current and close current project tab. But we probably want to save this change in case we lose it at some point. So let's go back to the options menu and choose customize menus. And if we choose this menu, the file menu, we could export it right here. Either exporting all the menus and toolbars or just this specific file menu. Let's just use this one. And we'll give it a name and save it. And now if this menu goes back to the default, we can reset it right here. Reset current menu to default. We can see in the file menu, it's back to where it was before with those actions not in here. But now we can import them to bring them back. Just go over here to import, find that file we saved, double click it, save and close this one. And those menu options were added back again. We can do the same thing with toolbars. If we right click over here, we can see we have a main toolbar and 16 other toolbars that could all be customized. Let's customize the main one. Let's remove some toolbars I don't use, like new project, open project, save project, undo, and redo. And let's add in a few of our own. Let's search automation mode. And there's a few actions right here that'll change the mode on selected tracks. So let's bring in all these. Let's put them at the bottom. And if we save this and close it, those toolbar buttons show up. But we can change the automation mode for every track we select. Our kick track can go to latch, our snare track can go to touch, and so on. But if we want to save this toolbar, just go back to customize it, go down here to export, and choose to either export all the menus and toolbars, or just this one, the current one. Let's give this a name. And now, if we put the toolbar back to its default by resetting it right here, it goes back to the default. We could import it to get the custom toolbar again. Right here, custom toolbar. 
Now our custom toolbar comes back after importing it. We do the same thing with our actions. Go to the actions menu, show action list. And here we can see all the actions in Reaper, along with the keyboard shortcuts that trigger them. And also the custom actions we create. Let's say we change a bunch of these. We can go right here and export the shortcut map or just selected shortcuts. Let's choose this custom action I created for adjusting the item volume with my mouse wheel. We'll select it and just save the selected shortcut key mapping. Give this a name. And now if this custom action gets deleted. You can bring it back in by importing it right here. That's just going to import that custom action and its keyboard shortcut right here. As we can see, it brings it back in. But again, we could save all of them right over here, or just the selected ones we choose, and then import them all back in. And we could do this with our preferences as well. Let's go to the Options menu and go to Preferences. And let's scroll down to Audio. We could change the channel mapping of our interface. Let's give our inputs some names like vocal and guitar. Now we could save our channel mappings right here. Give it a name. Now, if we reset this to the default right here, we could put it back by loading that file right here. And it puts it back with our inputs named vocal and guitar. And we can do the same thing with all the preferences in Reaper. If we go up here to general, right over here, we see import configuration and export configuration. So if we choose this, we could export anything from this window. Our configurations, color themes, plugin presets, and so on. And we could choose all of them, or a few, or just one, like our effects chains. Let's export all of it. And now we could save it, give it a name, And now it's saved all those files. At any point after we changed all our preferences, we can import it again to get right back to where we were, right here. Now Reaper needs to restart to import it. Let's do that. And now it imports each one of these options or configurations one by one. And it takes a bit longer because there's so much to import. But now that it's done and it reopens Reaper, everything we saved or exported in here is imported into Reaper, getting us right back where we left off. So that's pretty much it. That's how to import and export configurations in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.